so that's two already I got. This one's only got 11 degree split. You get over here, coil and everything, so. Let me spray this up here. There we go. So, this unit has no cap and has a leak in the trailer. That's just friggin' awesome. You can see the leak is right here. And there's not even a cap on it to seal it. That's friggin' awesome. Well, I'll show the guy upstairs. So I'm going to use a core tool to pull this out. We tried to tighten it, it didn't work. This is the same tool, it's a core tool, that's what they call it. This one right here is made by C&D. Put it on, slide it in, locked it in place. Now I'm going to back it out. I'm going to spin it until I feel the jump. There. Now I'm gonna spin it one more time, one more time. Three jumps, boom. Should be out. Here's the pin. Doesn't really look too damaged, but you know what, it's leaking. So a new one's going in. It's a cheap little part. Better than losing refrigerant. Boom. Boom. Now you're gonna push in hard with this. Boom. And now while you're holding it with them, you're gonna turn. And it's gonna tighten in place. And you're gonna turn until it gets snug. Okay, now it's getting snug. A little more. A little more and stop. A little more. Boom. No more. Okay. Now you can take your tool off. Now I always verify my new pin that it's not leaking. And you can see there's no bubbles, nothing coming out of it. That just fixed the refrigerant leak. Somebody asked me once, can a refrigerant leak be from there? Yes, it can. But if you have good caps on it, it should not be leaking. keep that in here in this little tool bag with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna need this. I don't know if I really like this one better than my other T. Trying to get a second chance. In some units it'll vibrate free. Suction probe connected. Liquid probe connected. Put in this little 
liquid, which is useless here because subcool means nothing. Now for the suction pipe. All right, so we're not, we're not, we're not, blah, 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 I can't talk. We're now connected. Already connected. I did A ready. Every single one of here. Have a pressure issues. Also helps. If I take this. Crucify me for that one video where I was learning how to use my tools. We all make mistakes. Interesting, 57 is the temperature I'm reading here. This is the only one I actually found a leak on so far. My target is 15 on the Super E. These are all piston units. Now I got a tight system. Let's see where we stop. It's I got a 62 suction pipe. It's still rising. 110 is my suction pressure. 109. It's going to drop slowly. That might be where I'm stable at now. So let's give this gas a little time to move through the system and see if this is gonna actually help make this get colder and my superheat to come to the range where I want. I think we still gotta put a little bit more in. Cause we're still rising here, as you see. Suction pressure is only 102, so. I like to see this start to at least start to decrease. Suction pressure dropping even more now. 
93 but we're still pretty warm so I'm going to put some more in I mean this isn't like it's getting cold it's getting colder now because as it's going in a little bit of liquid is hitting the probe It's starting to sound a little bit more normal now. Yeah, this is still not going in the direction that I want it to. This is still going up, not down. Pressure is now 112. Temperature might start to drop now. This is almost as much fun as watching paint dry, but can't keep dumping because you can see now that as the gas is starting to come back my coil inside is getting colder and everything it takes a couple minutes for the pressures to equalize and the refrigerant to move through the system and do what it's supposed to but you can see right here we're starting to drop so superheat's going to start to come down our coil is getting colder inside subcooling means absolutely nothing right now it's complete absolute garbage no I'm kidding not garbage but just it's useless with a piston Superheats what you're charging off of. 15 to 20 degrees is pretty good to be in that range. See, we're dropping. It's getting colder. The suction pipe as it comes back. I haven't had to add anything. It just takes time for it to move through the system and get that coil inside colder. I do like these tools. I don't have anything to compare them to the Testos, but they're pretty nice. I'm happy with my purchase. I don't want bad tech because I use these instead of regular gauges, but if I use regular gauges if you spend 300 bucks on these. Use them for everything. Pretty good, 61 degree pipe temp. I mean, I like to see 59, but 61 I can live with. Superheat's a little higher than I like it too, but I mean, but it, where's it going? It keeps going down. It's not like it's starting to rise back up. So, I'm gonna give it a one second shot. One, one second shot. I'm 
just open the fourth command so over there does not need refrigerant. I'm tired of charging units right now. It's easy work though. start to go up but I'm actually happy with where it is right now I'm not gonna add anything if it stays at 20 that's fine if it was 19 that's fine I'm done charging this thing I mean fifty-eight degree suction pipe temp that's pretty good There we go, we're dropping still a little bit too. I mean, anywhere from 15 to 20, I'm always happy. You'll get good cooling, you're not overcharged. All right, so I'm done with this unit, it's good. Like I said, I am hoping the last one, because I still haven't eaten, it's 311. I just keep working. Hope the last one doesn't need refrigerant also. Well, this is going to be a video on its own, so until next time, guys, a leaky Schrader pen. I'm out.